This is our new Wiser 8000 uh, dual channel system. Uh, this has uh, uh, data rates up to 8 kilohertz and can handle two input channels. It's a very high resolution system, can measure strains down as low as 0.01% of full scale. We have this attached to a X and Y component of bending, a micro measurement strain gauge, full bridge uh, setup. And uh, the micro measurement strain gauges are capable of very uh, high sensitivity when attached to a shaft, and so it's a very nice combination with our system. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, spinning on a uh, aluminum shaft. It has a little bit of a load with the fan blade, and it's being driven by a stepper motor. The stepper motor has an ability to introduce vibrations. Uh, one of the advantages of our system is that it's really measuring torsional vibrations and is isolated from vibrations that might be felt through the structure as is typically done when measuring vibrations on a uh, rotating device. So we're actually measuring uh, both X and Y components. That lets us know the, the bending component of the shaft, uh, not only the magnitude but also the direction of bending and um, can then detect whether or not there is a vibration going on. As you look over at the uh, graph of data, it shows the two channels. And uh, the top graph is showing you the raw data coming off of the two channels. The bottom graph is showing you an FFT signature. And uh, you can see that the noise all the way from a DC signature all the way up to the Nyquist frequency based on the data rate that we're taking it at of a kilohertz, there really is a pretty uniform noise, not much going on on this particular shaft. So I'll turn up the uh, stepper motor to a position that will introduce a vibration. And when I do that, you'll be able to see the FFT actually is now demonstrating a signature at that frequency. So again, if you go back and um, look at the FFT plot, there's now a vibration, which might be representative of a failed bearing, it might be a problem with the load, a problem with the drive motor, or an imbalance in the shaft. But it's very uh, evident now that there is a very unique frequency happening due to that vibration that's showing up in the strain data. So not only are you getting uh, bending and or torque magnitudes, depending on what you're measuring with the strain gauges, but you're also getting any signatures of vibration that might be happening as well. Again, these vibrations are well isolated from the structure of the machine and uh, due to the high precision of the micro measurement strain gauge, uh, we're able to capture those through the dual channel Wiser 8000 system and demonstrate that uh, there's a performance issue with this particular component.